Hey YouTube, Milesburg73 back again. Today I'm going to go over how to disassemble, maintain, and reassemble the M1911 single stack pistol magazine. Some of the things you're going to need are your magazine obviously, a bottle of gun oil, cleaning patches, a cleaning brush, cleaning rod with eyelet attached lamb, and a nail or similarly sized device. Now step number one you need to compress your spring down in order to remove the follower because unlike most modern magazines everything with these GI 1911 style magazines come out through the top. So first step Start it up with your finger, slip your weapons cleaning brush down there, run a nail through one of the rear holes, not the front hole or it won't work. And make sure you get underneath it like I just did. Okay. So now you got your follower compressed. All you got to do is just lift it out of there. There you go. There's your follower. Place your rag over the top and remove the nail. Springs decompressed and she pops out. We're going to pull her the rest of the way out, set her to the side. Magazine body. First step, you're going to take a little bit of gun oil, put a very small amount right there on the top, just work it around with your finger, all over the follower. Make sure you get this portion down here, the second piece. This is a Chip McCormick 8 round. Not all of them are assembled like this. Then make sure you get all of that oil off, leaving just a very minute film for corrosion protection. You don't want to leave any excess oil in here, otherwise it's going to attract dirt and all kinds of other things that you just don't want inside your magazine. That lip cleaned off. That's all there is to it. That one's clean. Next step, go ahead and take care of the magazine spring. What you're going to want to do, just take your rag, put a little dime-sized amount of oil right there, and just take your magazine spring, set it in the center of the oil spot, pinch it closed, and then just start working the magazine spring around. That oil should take care of all the unburnt carbon, dirt, and other debris that is accumulated on it. Working as fast as I can to meet that 10 minute rule. <laughs> Alright, wham. Now that you've gone over with some oil, you're going to just take a dry portion of the rag and repeat the steps to make sure all of that extra oil gets off of there. Blam, blam, blam. Here we go, and done. Okay, so we are two-thirds of the way finished. Just got this one to go now. Take your cleaning rod with eyelet attached. You're going to take your patch, pull it about that far through. Then you're just going to start twisting the rod 
until you got yourself a little impromptu chamber mop. Of course, if you have an actual chamber mop, which I don't have on hand, that will be even better. And just put some gun oil on it. Slip it inside the magazine body. And just work it around in there. Pay special attention to right here along the feed lips. Get all that stuff off. And then just repeat the process with a dry patch. A lot of oil went in there. And we definitely don't want that accumulating dirt. Otherwise we're going to start getting failures to feed and we'll turn a good magazine into a bad one. Stick that bad boy in there. Get out of there, boar guide. Alright. There you go. Yeah, I've been shooting this one a while. There's a lot of carbon buildup in there. All right, that completes our cleaning. And by using the gun oil instead of a powder solvent, you also have a very light film of lubrication in there that will ensure good functioning of your follower and spring. Now, when you put this back in here, most of them have this little eyelet assembly here. You want to make sure that's facing the front of the magazine. Just go ahead and slip that in there. So these Chip McCormick's are giving me a lot more trouble than the Springfield factory mags do. I'm going to try this with any of my Wilson combats, but they're not really all that dirty. Put it in there. Put your finger on that eyelet. Compress it down. Set your follower on there. Give it a couple little test pushes to make sure it's seated good. And this one appears to be assembled correctly. And there you have a cleaned, maintained, and lubricated 1911 single stack pistol magazine. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to send them to me. Mossberg73 out.